Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Traps again and we got a new update for you guys. As you can see, the head tree is gone and that means only one thing. Either they are dead or they are alive, but they have been transferred to the main tank and luckily I can tell you guys that they are inside the main tank right now. They all survived. Um, I got 13 triops and um, basically I released them today. Uh, so far uh, I haven't seen any problems with them yet. Uh, thing is I'm actually transferring the triops from a uh, reverse osmosis water filled hatchery to a reverse osmosis water filled aquarium this time. That's something different, but I told you guys in the previous videos that I will be using uh, our old water with this uh, setup. Um, basically because um, in the earlier days I developed a method that would co uh, cooperate uh, the floating hatchery together with an aquarium that's filled with tap water. But it works pretty fine. Other hand, when I was transferring the traps from their hatchery towards their little tank, the thing is, I actually was losing some traps now and then. So I started thinking again, and I was like, now I got an RO device, I can actually fill up the tank with RO water. So I basically did. Uh, you guys might have seen it in the previous video that RO water has zero TDS. The thing is, um, there are some rocks and some other stuff inside this tank that will release some minerals to the tank, which is beneficial for the traps for them to grow on. So we're going to take a look again with the TDS meter to see what kind of TDS we got right now so let's see it be it came from zero TDS water and it basically has become 60 TDS now so that's basically 60 uh, TDS on minerals and all kinds of stuff that has leached into the water over the course of uh, let's say a week but that's fine actually we need some minerals to um, support the exoskeletons of our triops Thing is, we're gonna take a look at them right now. They are pretty small still, but some of them actually have grown quite a bit already. Uh, so my guess is that this might be an Australiensis or Longicadaudus uh, species. And if I even may, I actually have quite a lot of, um, quite a bit of a feeling that these guys are actually Australiensis Aurum juveniles right now. Uh, we just need to wait for them to develop their uh, permanent shield, shield colors first to make def to definitely make sure that they actually are uh, Triops Australiensis Aurum. The Aurums are a selective bred species uh, that I bred uh, like two years ago. Basically it's a uh, Triops that looks like an Australiensis or Longicadaudus Triops but has a golden uh, pattern on its head shield instead of uh, the regular colors and basically I have been uh, working on selecting them out to have a more marbled head shield with uh, stronger yellow tones which make the traps appear like they are a little bit like gold golden marble and that's definitely one of the most beautiful species I have so I actually w am wondering if these are guys are the Australiensis orange badge that I lost like uh, a while ago but it would be neat because then I would have uh, a lot of eggs again of this species because I actually sold out the Triops uh, Aurums uh, to customers and to friends. So I actually don't have much eggs left um, for other people to buy. So I basically uh, removed it from the list. Well, it's still on the list, but it's not available right now because I definitely had to make sure that I was actually saving some eggs for my own uh, breeding as well. So I did, and uh, now it's definitely a mystery if these guys are actually uh, Traub's arms as well, because that would mean I would have a ton of eggs uh, that I could harvest from uh, the bucket that I found. And that would be great. Then other people can get the Traub's arm species as well, which is, is a uh, Triassic Park Traub's, uh, let's say, exclusive species, because I used to be the only one that actually had this Traub species, but I started selling them so there are different people on the earth now that actually also have this species but they are very happy with them um, so that's basically why I uh, love that species as well because people are actually 
contacting me to get that specific species because you can basically you can basically can't buy them anywhere else so or from another breeder that actually got them from me but that's also a possibility um, on the other hand I also wanted to show you guys that the white uh, stuff that was growing on the wood and such was already gone it could be possible that the little tribes have been eating from it already or it just uh, disappeared also fine uh, thing is I just didn't want that kind of stuff in my tank so I'm glad it's gone right now um, then next up uh, you can actually see there is some movement in the water but that's because I installed the Denali egg filter again it's a uh, corner filter by Denali here it is and I this time I pointed it towards the background just to make sure that there isn't that much uh, movement in the water because I think um, it's better for them to have a little bit more stagnant water because they can move a little bit more freely when they are a little bit smaller this size will get blown around in the tank if I just put it full on and uh, make like a circle movement throughout the tank that's gonna blow away these little guys so I just want to make sure that my filter isn't too powerful right now it actually is on the least powerful uh, option right now so that's, go that's good and uh, basically we just need to wait until the water uh, clears up a little bit again because it, quite, it got kinda cloudy and that's because I just um, I just released all of the content of the hatchery into this tank just to make sure that they are getting what they need. Uh, there is some beneficial stuff inside that hatchery as well, so I just wanted to transfer that with them. And I did. Oh, oh I thought this one was going to molt actually, but it isn't. It doesn't appear like it's going to do that very soon anymore. But it made some movements that looked like molting. Now you can see the little buggers happily exploring the tank uh, grazing off some food that I just gave them I just gave them one algae wafer split in four pieces just to make sure that every that well they can share it a little bit if I would just add like one wafer it would get to fights I think but now there are four pieces so everybody could get a piece eat from it and carry on with their day while the others are waiting a little bit or just stealing it from each other that's fine as well doesn't matter too much as long as they are just eating a little bit now and then that would be fine uh, we do want to boost their growth and their uh, uh, exoskeletons of course but yeah definitely i could say plan b was a success so that's basically why i wanted to make this update guys uh, the update is mainly about the um, just confirmation that my uh, tribes have survived inside their little hatchery and that they actually were uh, big enough to be transferred to their main tank right now and they are definitely doing great in their little main tank right now they are just uh, exploring the tank a little bit and uh, definitely looking for food, grazing a bit. And I didn't see uh, much digging yet, but that should be coming in like several days. Um, the bigger traps are actually maybe like fertile in like two or three days and they will start laying eggs as well. So I'm definitely looking out to that point because it's always fun to watch them dig in the sand and uh, dropping some eggs for you that we could actually harvest later on. So, um, well, I think that's basically it for today, guys. Uh, just a short little update for you guys that it worked and that I'm actually having some trials right now. Possibility that it might be uh, trials uh, Australiensis aurum, the selective bred species that we created like two years ago. Well, not created, we selectively bred it on color just to make sure that that particular color will be popping out. Uh, in other generations as well and this should be the little um, how it's called this should be the child children of um, another Australian arm generation that came uh, after Nugget if I'm right I'm not completely sure yet but basically that's it guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and um, just stay tuned I will upload more of them very soon and we're gonna take more looks at these little traps this little tiny colony that I got going on over here hope you enjoyed it guys if you got um, if you didn't subscribe to me yet feel free to subscribe to the Jurassic Park Traps YouTube channel and always don't forget to thumbs up this little video which will help me uh, getting uh, from the little uh, algorithm hell I just fell into when I wasn't uploading that much so um, if you guys would help me that way it would be I would be really grateful for that see you next time guys have a nice one